to show you how you can make um, coordinate transformation from one coordinate system to another coordinate reference system okay also known as CRS now in this case what we are going to do is we are going to rather transform from WGS 84 to um, Ghana meter grid which is for Ghana okay Ghana meter grid legend okay and vice versa Okay, so in order to do that, you first need to install um, the library which does that for you. Python doesn't have to search a library as one of its standard, but you can import, you can install it and use it. Okay, so if you are using Spider Anaconda, that's very simple. You just, I'll show you how to do it from this video. But if you are using any other IDE, you might have to refer to how to install um, plugins or extensions on that IDE. Okay. So for somebody using Spider Anaconda, you just need to come here. I'll put this in the description. But if you if you want to Google it yourself, just search for PyProj. Okay, search for PyProj, and then you would find this website here. Now this is so this is Python's um um this this um, a website for getting Python libraries. There are actually a lot of them. You can search for any library you need here. I'm sure we'll be coming here a lot of a lot of of, of these days. Okay, so you basically you just need to copy this one if you are using um, perhaps let's say it's, um, a different ID apart from spider anaconda you probably need to copy this one open your command prompt as administrator then you do pip install pyproj or whatever library you need okay however we are not going to do that we are just going to look for anaconda so I'm just going to run anaconda's prompt make sure you run it as an administrator Okay, so I'm going to run as administrator. There. Okay. All right. So I already have the library installed, so you might not see what I am going to have. Okay, but yours will be a little different. So I'm going to say um, conda install pipe porch. Okay. You can also just say pip install install pi porch. Now, any of them will work. Okay, so first you need to run as ads administrator and then also you need to have internet connection. Okay, so if you have those two sets, you can just press enter and wait a while. Did I press enter? Press enter. Okay, so over here you can see that the requirement already satisfied. I have the library already installed, but when you do it, you have a new you'll have a new library okay so I'm just gonna go ahead and close this one okay so you can do a transformation in very few steps first you need to import the library okay so import import pyproj like this all right okay so after you're done importing you need to create um, um you need to create projections so I'm just going to comment this one let's like create projections and remember what we want to create is um, we want to create from WGS 84 or 1984 all the way to Ghana meter grid. Okay, so legend. Okay, like this. Oh. Like this. Okay, so this one has a code name 4326, right? And this one has a code name 2500. Now, if you don't know how to get the code name, that's also very simple. You just need to know what you need. You just need to know what you need. You just need to know, I need to transform from this coordinate system to this coordinate system. If you know that, the rest is all about Googling. Okay, so if you know you are going to transform from WGS84, you can just say code name for WGS84, or you can just Google WGS84 like this. 84. And then you get the code name. Okay, it's all around. Let's see. If you go to Wikipedia, for instance, you'll find it 4326. Okay, now there's this other place. Let me see if I can find that website. It's called, um, it's escaping me. It, yeah, it's called EP, ESPG. I think that's the name of the website ESPG. The EPSG, sorry, EPSG. Okay, so they are into this stuff. That's basically what they are into. You just go in there 
you can be able to do you can be able to do whatever quick um, transformation you need to do okay so i just wanted to let you know that this exists and you can also get information about coordinate systems from this place all right anyway so let's move back so like i said i'm converting between two coordinate systems okay and and um ghana meter grid ghana meter grid is called lagan okay and this is the code name for it the code name is very important because every coordinate system has a code name e p s g then the code name comes okay so you need to know the code names all right so if you have this one you create what i call what we call projections so this transformation projection will convert from wgs84 to lagum like this okay so that's just a variable name and i'm going to say pyproj dot transformer now this is what will do the transformation okay then you give it the first but i want to convert from so you can start by saying transformer dot from okay no. from let's say crs because we are so transformer dot from crs now i could just say from 4326 to 2500 like this and we'll be good to go okay else if you have the string form of it you can just say from e b s g like this 4326 to take this one out e b s g um 25000 right they they will both work okay just depends on which one is simple or which one you have they will both work all right so um with this transformer being set what we need to do now is um is to okay so why don't you do a reverse one for it so also from Lagan to wgs84 okay so we have two transformers so pyproj dot transformer dot from so in this case i'm just going to do it like this just to show you that they both work okay all right so now that you have this um what's left is make a comment here do the conversion okay and how do you convert very simple so i could just say i think we need latitude longitude value values right okay so let's let's start by saying my lat long so for instance we are going to start by doing this from wgs84 to legum okay so the first part wgs84 oh. legum i guess so okay that means we need um legum values right i think i have some values written down here let me use those ones so that means this one this first one okay so i could say values okay legum values because when we convert it to legum values we we'll have legum values i hope i'm not confusing you all right so wgs84 to legum dot transform like this then you pass in the values you want to transform okay so i would pass in six point um, what's the value six seven four nine seven eight comma minus 1.566226 this is just coordinates for a control point on my campus okay so this is fine and when you say print um lake values right like this print lake values i'm really bad at giving variable names okay what do we get let's see um made a mistake okay here these spaces shouldn't these spaces shouldn't exist okay so i'm just going to remove them clear this guy and run again there you go so that just tells you that this is really um i try to avoid this method okay so 4326 like this i try to avoid this whole string method of um putting it sorry and i leave it this way okay so you can just go simple by their code names 43262 25000 and then from 25000 to 4326 and it will still work let's just run that again 
yeah there you go so assuming we have these values and we need to convert them so let me just take them here put them somewhere in a comment okay so assuming we have these values so this is good right we've been able to convert from latitude longitudes or from um wgs84 to um legum or to a projected coordinate system okay now wgs84 is a standard coordinate system okay it is used for satellite navigation um it's used for actually google maps google Earth. all these platforms use it open street maps they all use it it's it's, it's a global coordinate system okay this lagan is actually a national coordinate system so you may not have any idea what it stands for because sorry because its popular its popularity is only um familiar in my country ghana okay so i'm just trying to let you understand how you can be able to transform from latitude longitude to a coordinate system of your choice all right hope that makes sense so let's try the reverse i'm going to comment out this one okay and um let's just remove this whole guy and then now i'm going to say from Lagan to wgs84 like this right so how do we go about that one we've already defined a transformer to do that this is already there so all we need to do is expect sorry 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 over here all we need to do is expect our expect our lat long values and then um, we use the transformer to do that so from lagan to wgs dot transform see it's pretty simple right the transform then pass in the first coordinates like this and then the second coordinate like this okay right so then what do we do let's print so after this, I'll show you some cool stuff you can do with it. Okay. And there you go. It's been converted back to latitudes, longitudes. Okay. This is very simple. So I want to print out both of them. I'm just going to do this. And I'm going to print print lake values like this. And I'm going to run both of them. Clear this one first. Sorry. And then I'll run. Okay. Now you have both of them. Now, what can you do with this? I remember I was working on a project, um, a web app, okay, and I, I got to a point I needed to do this. I really found it difficult. Anyways, what I'm trying to say is that if you have a list of coordinates, okay, you, you can put them inside a for loop or a while loop. Or basically any kind of structure that will allow you to look through them access each of them and do the transformations okay i wrote a script earlier early on and some weeks ago that would take coordinates i have from firebase do a lot of conversions and upload them back to firebase just to test to see if it works anyway so i hope this comes in handy let me know if you have any other issues regarding this and i'll be sure to get back to you yeah so i think i'll see you guys in another video right